All right, I'm looking at another Fibble today. Now, Fibble is like Wordle, but on every line, one of the clues is a lie or a fib. And we can click on the things to flag them, and we can right click to flag them different ways. And there's, uh, you can also flag and then right click, and there's a few different ways to mark things. So uh, that's all we need to know. So the first word is gross. Um, so let's see. Yeah, so a dozen dozen is what we're starting with. So, what do we want to do instead? Maybe gloss? I do like to repeat letters usually, especially at first. Once we get going and we know a little more, it's not always the best, but... Okay, good. So, this is what we want. We got one of the two O's is a lie, and one of these two S's is a lie. Which means the rest of these are all true. Perfect. So... Let's see. Yeah, so... So the L is true. We know that. Good. Okay. Now the S is here are interesting because if this is the lie, then this one is true. And if this is the lie, then this, so if this this is either yellow or gray. So when it's a lie, you don't know what it's supposed to be necessarily. But with both of these, actually, we do know because if this is the lie, it's gray, and if this is the lie, it's gray. So we know. So there's either an O here, or there's an S somewhere, and it can't be last. So the S would have to be, so the S, okay, interesting. So if the S is the lie, that means the O is true. And the S, oh, but if the S is the lie, it's gray. If the S is true, yeah, then you could have an S third, because that would mean that the O is the lie. But LS doesn't seem good, so I think you'd have to start with SL if the O is the lie. Because the S can't be last either, obviously. So I'm gonna kind of go off the assumption that probably the S is the lie. And the O is true. So we want something... Uh, we could do something like flock. Hmm. The question is, do we want the the problem with with doing a bunch of new letters is you don't know. All we know about is the L. Even if we get a green O here, we don't necessarily know that the O is still true. All right, I'm just gonna go with flock. That's fine. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. So actually, we know this is a lie because the O or the O has to be true. The green O or the gray O has to be true. One of them. Because these, uh, is that true? That's not true. That's not true. Ah, shoot. So here's the thing. We know one of these O's and one of these S's is a lie. No, yeah, one of these O's has to be true. They can't both be lies. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. So this has to be a lie. Right, one of these S's has to be, they could both be lies, right? But they can't both be true. Likewise, these O's could both be lies. That's what I was thinking, is these could both be lies if the O was true. But that would mean that both of these are true, and they can't. They can't be. So the yellow O is a lie. The rest of these are true. Okay. So we still don't know anything other than there's no F, C, and K. But we don't know anything else from what we knew before. So maybe we need to try something with an S, L, O try that because we know that if the s is true it's got to be at the beginning i mean pretty much for sure there it's possible it's after the l but it seems unlikely hmm actually hmm do i want to do that well, i'm not i'm not thinking of much that that works there uh so now i'm kind of thinking about cloud possibly because we already know there's no c well, but we already know where the L go. The L is a for sure there. So do we want to keep guessing something with an L? Maybe that's maybe that's not it. We could do something like shock. Now that would be interesting because we already know the C and the K, and we know quite a bit about the S here and the O here potentially and how they could relate. Let's try that. Okay, so that does fit with. Oh, but this is the lie. This is the lie right here, guaranteed because we know there's no K. So the rest of these are true. The S is there, so this is the true one. This is the lie, this, or, no, this is the true one. That's the lie. True. 
<laughs> I'll get it eventually. There we go. Those are now the lies, guaranteed. So it's S L something. From there, we know nothing. We just have grays after that. So S L. Uh, can't be sling. Could be slime. Gross and slime would fit together. Sometimes the starting word and the answer are connected somehow. Not always, but sometimes. So let's go with slime. I think that's probably going to be it. Oh, it wasn't slime. Ah. Oh. All right. Uh, ooh, interesting. So we know these are true. So one of these is a lie. So. Hmm. Uh, so it's not slime. I thought for sure gross and slime fit together. That'd be perfect. So it's got to be a vowel next. It could be an I still. It could be an E. It could be sleep. It could be. Um, I mean, we could try slide and hope for a contradiction with one of the I's or the E's. That can't be the answer because the I and the E would both have to be lies. So. Maybe instead, I'll try Elide. Just to see, it'll give us two options, two chances for an E to contradict with this E, potentially. Ooh, oh, okay, well that is interesting. So, this this was really, that was really good. Because we know one of these two E's has to be, well, this one is the lie, because we know there's an S there. This is the lie. So the rest of these are true. But, what I was gonna say is we know one of the two E's has to be true, and therefore this has to be a lie no matter what. Okay, so, S, L, something, something, E, and there's no I, um, there's no... Could be a second E, though. Something like that, but I'm not sure what that would be, so I'm thinking A. Slave. Slate. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, slavery is gross, so there could be a connection there. Uh, I'm not sure. August 11th, is there... I don't know if today is a, a, a you know, a day of recognition of something, or maybe not. It could be, it could be a completely unrelated. That's not even necessarily the answer. <laughs> um, I might be reading more into this than there is there, but... So I'm thinking slave or slate. I'm not sure. Otherwise it could be a U, I guess. We haven't done a U yet, but... I don't know what that's gonna be. An E? I think slave or slate. Let's go with slave. Okay. So, I mean, my, my instinct is that the A is wrong, and it's probably slate. Let's try that. Oh, the answer was slate. Okay. So I guess gross and slate. I was trying to make connections, and I don't think there's a connection there. Maybe there's one I don't know. But uh, that's what's interesting about Fibble sometimes having connections and not always having connections is sometimes you can think there's a connection, and so you, you guess things that, that there's not. Now, if they always had a connection, then it would be a little bit easier. So that makes it not easier by not always having a connection. But anyways. There you go. Tricky one. I don't know why I had so much trouble in here trying to find the answer, but... Especially since, I mean, there's an S at the beginning, we have an S in the answer, just, I don't know. I had a hard time today, so... Let me know how you did with today's Fibble. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Oh, it could be... We could still have an S there. This could be artsy. <laughs> We're putting a lot of R's in the grid. So, there. And there. There we go. <laughs> Alright, that was an easy one. Decided, maybe. <laughs> so, so doing eight words blindfolded isn't hard enough. We could do spool or after, or spoof and alter, either way. Oh, we could do whiz? There we go, okay. Woo. 